Kiara here, back with some more Disney Dreamlight Valley on the Nintendo Switch. I am still hanging out with Mushu right now because I had just completed his level 7 quest. And now I need to see when his next quest will unlock. I know it's at level 10, but I need to, um, I need to get him there. You know, I need to get him there. So let me see what it includes. Unlock Scar, Buzz, and Woody and have him at level 10. Cool, so we're going to be talking to Scar, Buzz, and Woody. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. Let's keep going. He's right now level 8. We're going to get him to level 10 just right now and we're going to immediately start his next quest. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I'm hoping this quest won't take too long of a time. Maybe I could like start planning like decorating stuff um afterward. You know, after the after the quest if it doesn't take a long time. All right, so let's see. We have this. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. Here we go. I still have this raven with me. I feel like I should change it to a different animal companion. I still have this ennui raven that I don't really need with me anymore. I was just having it for the past couple of episodes to just show it off. But now, I'm getting sick of it. <laughs> no offense to Anwi or anything. Come on, come on. What's going on? Here's a gem. Ooh, I like it. Is what he said. Or something like that. He's like, ooh, I like this, I like this a lot. Alright. Just say the word and I'm there. It's crazy that Mushu is so tiny, and whenever I'm in the Sun Plateau, he blends into the floor. And whenever I'm in his house, he blends into the floor. And I feel like Woody and Buzz are just easier to spot than Mushu. Even though Mushu is clearly taller than them. I think. I don't know this for sure. But you just Mushu is pretty tall for, you know, compared to Woody and Buzz, I think. <laughs> Unless they're the exact same height. But it's crazy that I can't spot Mushu. And yet, Woody and Buzz, you know that, right? for me, are easier to find than Mushu. I think it's also because Mushu is thin, you know, like, he's, he's skinny. That, you know, he could fit into, like, really small crevices. That it makes it hard to find him. Even with me looking at the map, I still couldn't see him. That's so crazy. He was on the map, and yet I still couldn't find him. He's just so small. I mean, it'd be pretty creepy. It'd be pretty weird if he was my size. Imagine if everyone was just my size, including the toys. That'd be pretty scary. A ginormous... Ginormous Woody and Buzz. Especially Mushu, a fire-breathing dragon, to be my size. <laughs> when he's not normally supposed to be. That would be pretty terrifying. Well, look who it is! Okay. 
almost at level 9. Let's get him to level 9. There it is. Okay, cool. Now, let me go ahead and get some more... Some more gems. So that I could get him there. Okay. Let's see what we got. I have a ton of rubies on me. Guess I'll use all of those. You are in the presence I don't really need all of these. I mean, my storage chest in the Frosted Heights could use a bunch more gems, because I don't think I have many Vitaly's Mines things in there. But, you know, I could always get more. I'm not in a hurry to collect gems. This is going to take a while, you guys. While we're waiting, let me know in the comments. Um, who are you most excited to see appear in the valley next? What Disney character do you most want to see make an appearance? Besides Tiana, Pumbaa, and Timon, because those are the next three confirmed characters. Besides them... Who do you want to see next? I mean, my two favorite characters are already here, which is Rapunzel and Vanellope. My two favorite princesses are already here. So, yeah. You are in the presence of a legend. I don't really know who else I'd want to see in here. I mean, they don't yet have Jasmine or Aladdin. Jasmine is, um, if we're not including, if we're not including Vanellope as an official Let's Disney princess, because I don't think she is, um, if we're not including her as an official princess, Jasmine is my second favorite. So, <laughs> nice. I definitely want her to make an appearance. She might be, like, on Eternity Isle. Actually, or in a future DLC. I was thinking to turn the aisle though because Jafar is running the castle right now. So I feel like someone has to live at Agrabah Palace, right? And it's who better than Jasmine and Aladdin? Alright. He's about halfway you to level are in the ten. Of a legend. You know that, right? Who else could right. make an appearance? <laughs> Who else do you think? You just say the word and I'm there. This is hurting my fingers, you guys. <laughs> I need to take a break. I've just kept <laughs> I've just been spamming this button you like this entire time. You know that, right? And my fingers are starting to hurt. Oh, yeah. Which isn't good because I have to use my fingers a lot for work. Uh, so that's not good. But you know what? Oh well. <laughs> oh well, I, I could handle it. Could handle it. I'm still trying to think. Who else would I want to see besides Jasmine? Because Rapunzel is my ultimate favorite princess. I remember from the beginning of the game, I have been saying, or I guess not 
the very beginning, but a long time ago, before Rapunzel was here, I was saying, I need Rapunzel to come to the valley. I need her here. Just because she's the best. Um, oh, we still don't have Ralph, huh? Or Fix It Felix. Ralph is a confirmed character for the game because he's in one of the trailers. Um, but yeah, we still don't have him, though. But he is a confirmed character, just not for the next couple updates. I think he's probably the last character that's confirmed. You know that, right? To be coming. Oh, you know who I want to see? I want to see Tinkerbell. I love all of those Tinkerbell movies. I watch them over and over again. <laughs> Whenever I, I don't have like anything else to watch, I'm just like, hey, let's watch Tinkerbell again. It's such a good movie. And I love all of its sequels. Oh god, what did I just do? Oh, that's just a charger, okay. Sorry, you guys. Um, my... I accidentally kicked the charger out of the laptop. And then I thought it was, like, the capture card, um, plug. But, you know, I, I got a little scared. But it's just the charger, so it's fine. So definitely Jasmine and Tinkerbell and her friends I want to see in the valley. Imagine they put all of her friends here. They'll definitely put Peter Pan, right? But like imagine they put Silver Mist and Rosetta and Periwinkle and Iridessa. That'd be fun. Just have all the fairies. Have them all. It's crazy that I remember all of their names. Alright, we're almost there. We're gonna get him to level 10, and then we're gonna instantly start this quest. And see what it's about. Come on, like two more? Two more gems? One more gem? Nice. Level 10. Let's go. Let's go, Mushu. Let's go, Mushu. Don't mind if I do. Okay, level 10. Time bending level 10. I have no clue why I decided to put time bending as his skill, but... You know what? We're just gonna live with that. Oh, and that was all of my rubies, too. Perfect. Perfect timing, I guess. Alright, let's start this. Hello. Hey, Kiara, we have got a serious problem, and its name is Scar. What did he do now? What? I see his reputation precedes him. Well, that big bully has been on some kind of power trip lately. He's walking around like he owns the place. Uh, strutting and scraping his teeth at... Strutting and snapping his teeth at villagers less than half its size. I'm telling you, I don't like it. Sounds like Scar. Yeah, I was afraid you say that. Come on. We're guardians here. We gotta investigate and put a stop to any nefarious goings on. I'm gonna go keep an eye on Scar, do a little recon. Can you talk to Woody, Buzz, Stitch, and Remy? See if he's been bothering them? I'm on the case. That sounds like such a random bunch of villagers. Buzz, Woody, Stitch, and, and, and Remy. <laughs> random bunch of people, but hey, let's do it. Yeah. Kiara, am I glad to see you. We need to talk about Scar. Oh no, what did he do? Nothing truly evil, but... Scar has been a terrible customer in the restaurant lately. He keeps ordering a dish, eating most of it, and then sending the last bite back, saying it was no good. Isn't it the customer is always right? Sure, but the full cro quote is the customer is always right in matters of taste. <laughs> Wait, is that a true fact? I work at a restaurant. I'm generally asking, is that a true fact? Because we have had customers complain about their food after they were eating it. Like, 
I totally understand where Remy is coming from. Um, but is that a true fact? The customer is always right in matters of taste? Huh. And I'm pretty sure Scar liked the taste of the food plenty. He just didn't want to pay. Ah! That's what we've said too. <laughs> Back at where I work. I tried to talk to him. I told him I don't mind cooking food for him. Everyone needs to eat. But complaining just so you don't have to pay is pretty rude. His exact words were, And what will a mere rodent like you do against a mighty king? Then he knocked his plate onto the floor. It shattered and he left. I'll report this back to Mushu. He was worried Scar was picking on smaller villagers. Don't worry, Remy. We'll find a way to get Scar to stop this. Oh, that's what it is. That's why it's such a random group, because he's only asking small villagers. That makes sense. Alright, Woody, what's up? Hey, howdy, hey. Woody, has Scar been bothering you? You know, now that you ask, we did play a strange game the other day. What kind of game? Well, Scar said he wanted to play hide and seek, which I thought was a little funny, but... <laughs> hey, I'm a toy. Helping people feel happy is my job. When Scar found me, I told him it was his turn to hide, and he said, no, now it's time for you to run. And he chased me around the village for a whole afternoon, and boy did I get a workout. He's got four legs and I've only got two. That's horrible. It wasn't fun. I can still feel those big teeth of his snapping be behind me. Thanks for telling me, Woody. Mushu and I are figuring the situation out. I'll tell him your story. This is a really well, Scar is being a real jerk lately. <laughs> Scar is being a real jerk lately. Today. Like, why? Hello, Buzz. Hello. Anything to report? Hey, Buzz. How has Scar been bothering lately? Hmm, although Scar and I settled things amicably in regards to our friendship, sometimes he pushes the boundaries of friendship too far. That sounds bad. Well, it isn't pleasant. Lately, Scar seems to be enjoy seems to enjoy knocking me into mud puddles. One bat of his one bat of his paw and I go flying. It takes me hours to get the mud out of the bottoms of my uniform. Sometimes days. Does he at least apologize? Negative. He laughs and saunters away. I'm sorry this happened, Buzz. Mushu and I are going to work on a situ That's on a solution. Like uh, okay. Yeah. Why is Scar acting like such a pain? Like, the quests that has involved Scar in the past have never been this bad before. They've never been. Th this terrible. I can't think of one right now, but I know they haven't been this terrible. <laughs> Why is he being such a jerk? Oh my god! Wait! Oh my god! Hold on. I just remembered something. You know how there's a bunch of aliens over here? <laughs> I know I, I, I'm saying something pretty out there and random but I could totally put these aliens in the Disney park <laughs> I just I just thought of that right now I could totally move the aliens to Pizza Planet cuz that's their home oh my god you know what we're doing it <laughs> I completely forgot about them and then I was passing by and was like this is the area of the aliens and then um, it's like oh wait hold on I could definitely just take those aliens and put them where they should be put. Also this ball. Yeah, definitely that ball as well. Because, you know, it's for little kids and little kids like balls, right? Well, <laughs> hey Sitch, has Scar given you any trouble recently? I'm helping Mushu with the project. <laughs> no, Scar's scared of Stitch. Really? Yeah, Stitch tells Scar to uh, his ship 
his ship has losers and tell him what losers do. Now Scarlet leaves Stitch alone, but Stitch was but Stitch sees Scar bother other small friends. His badness level is very high. Huh, okay, thanks Stitch. Wushu and I are working on this. <laughs> Stitch made Scar afraid of him. That's pretty cool. Mushu, you're totally right. Scar is bullying the other small villagers. Well, everyone accepts Stitch, but only because Stitch explained he's got losers. Oh, I, I was thinking that said losers, but it meant lasers. <laughs> now it makes sense. Um, Stitch has lasers. I knew it. What did the rest of them say? Buzz said that Scar keeps accidentally knocking him into mud puzzles and lap. Uh, puddles and laughing. Ooh, you're gonna have to hold him back. My blood's starting to boil. You're gonna have to hold me back. My blood's starting to boil. Woody said Scar wanted to play hide and seek, but when he found Woody, he clo he chased him around for a whole afternoon and snapped his teeth whenever he got close. Uh, uh, egregious? God, I don't know these words. Egregious use of teeth. Not on my watch. Remy said, Scar's been sending back his last bite of food so he doesn't have to pay in the restaurant. When Remy asked Scar about it, he called Remy a mere rodent and knocked his plate onto the ground, breaking it. Come on, I don't even go to restaurants, and I know that's rude. <laughs> so, I guess that confirms it. He's not going to be in the restaurant ever. Alright. He's just causing tiny... He's just causing tiny terror in general. We are putting an end to this. I'm going to form a tiny villagers society. I want to get everyone together and let them know I've got this under control. Your motto can be small but mighty. Hey, that's pretty good. Now for a proper, a proper meeting, we're going to need tiny chairs. Everything around here is huge and not exactly built for small folks. Huh. Ooh, and some pint-sized snack snacks too. A professional meeting's gotta have a spread, way. even if just a few partake. Alright, Mushu, I'll build some tiny chairs. You go invite the other villagers to the meeting. We'll worry about snacks after. Tiny chairs? Alright. <laughs> I did not think that we'd start building tiny furniture. Alright, 25 softwood, 5 iron ingots, 5 fabric. Okay, so I just need more fabric. Let's go. 5 fabric. Let's get some more fabric. Okay, and then we need tiny chairs. I need 5. Let's look at them. I want to see how they look in the... Um, oh, hey! Look at this. We actually did unlock the new uh, things. So we could just keep continuing making these. That's cool. Um, oh my god! <laughs> look how small that is! I mean, of course it is a tiny chair. But, like, in the picture that they have? Wow, that's small. I want to see how it looks like. On the ground. Bring them to Mushu. There you go. Tiny chairs. <laughs> they're so tiny. I think they're actually too tiny to put a toy on it. Ooh, these are perfect for a meeting. I'll set them up once we're ready. They're so cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Enough with the cute. The important thing is they're kind of... They're kind of chairs our members need. Now we need some pint-sized refreshments. For that, we should call in an expert. Could you talk to our favorite tiny chef? You got it. Tiny chef. Tiny chef. Tiny chef. Hello, Maui. It's Maui time. Tiny chef. Tiny chef is over here. Oh, why am I not eating my sesame balls that I made earlier? It could give me some experience. Oh wow, they actually don't give you that many, that much experience though. 
Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh my god. There we go. I couldn't fit. Kiara Mushu told me about the meeting and he said you'd be by. I have a great idea for something to serve. Mm. A miniature leek soup. Nourishing, delicious, one of... Uh, and of course, a nice small portion size. First, we'll need to grow some miniature leeks. Because they're so small, these special leeks are bursting with flavor. Ah. We'll also need other ingredients, but I know you'll get that handled. Oh my god, it's a tiny seed bag. Oh my god. This quest is just adorable. It's a tiny seed bag. Alright. Plant the miniature leeks. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That's like adorable. That's so tiny. <gasps> I can't even see it. <laughs> what the heck? Water the leaks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gather the remaining ingredients for the miniature leek soup. So I need three onions, three mushrooms, three butter, and three of the leeks. Okay. Cook miniature leek soups <laughs> this is so cute that's so adorable when you plant it it's just a little little sprout little sprout in the ground that's too cute all right miniature leek soup has been added to the recipes oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so tiny. I mean, it is called miniature for a reason. But. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, welcome, Luir. Welcome, welcome. I'm crying. I'm crying. This is so adorable. <laughs> And the placement that they are on the stove does not make any sense, by the way. It looks like they should just easily fall through the cracks. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute! Bring Mushu the leek soup. <laughs> this is... Uh, I'm crying. Okay. You guys, I'm not crying, I just have stuff in my eyes. Okay. Ooh, they look so nice. Stitch and Remy are really gonna like them. Ah, yeah. Kiara, I know you're not small like us, but you've helped me us so much. So I want to invite you to the first meeting of the Tiny Villagers Society as an honorary member. I even made this little pa this little patch for you to put on your clothes if you want. Oh, that's cool. Now come on, follow me. Let's get this meeting. Co uh, con. Okay, sorry. I did not read that on time. I think you said conversed. Meet Mushu in his house. Okay, well, can I put on the new uh, badge? Nope, that's the wrong thing. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. Your Mushu is at level 10 and Mulan's at level 9. Cool. I finally have every one of my villages at level 10. It's pretty awesome. Um, let's see. Can I wear this badge? Can I sort for Mulan? What's Mulan symbol? Is it a dragon? What is Mulan symbol? Oh. This is it. Cool. Oh, do I not have a badge? Oh, maybe it's just like in my inventory. Hold on. No? Is it not in my inventory? Where's the badge? I want to see the badge. Maybe... 
Huh. I mean, he clearly gave me a badge, right? Is it gonna be, like, in a specific category? Is it, like, under body or something? I don't know. I don't think it would be. Is it an accessory? I mean... I feel like it should be, but it's not under that. Is it a tool? Is the question. No, it's not a tool. I don't know where it is. That's strange. I did not find it. Alright. Here we are. Oh my god, look at these look at these chairs. Oh my god, look at these chairs. Attention everyone. Ahem. Thanks for joining us on such short notice. <laughs> okay, I know. This is serious business. I've heard what Scar has been doing and I'm here to help. Oh, I just noticed that he made a pun. He can't push us around just because we're small. Farming, Forming this society is a first stop in getting him to back off, and I'm going to tell him that. Woo! Here, here. Alas, nice job with the soup, Kiara. What's the point of having these chairs if no one's going to sit in them? You know? Also, Stitches... But is too big for these chairs. You just say the word and I'm there. Okay, I'm gonna go give Scar a good talking to. A piece of my mind. Explain the sitch. That'll make him back off. Something tells me that won't work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What? I'm a guardian. He has to listen to me. Scar barely takes me seriously. Mushu, he needs... Uh, Scar barely takes me seriously, Mushu. He needs something big. A show of... A show of power. Mulan told me when you first met her that you put on a big show with fire and shadows. No, no way. I wasn't a guardian then. I don't want to use tricks anymore. It's not a trick. It's an illusion. Illusion takes skill and work and effort. There's nothing tricky about that. Okay, we could do it as long as you know that I don't need tricks to be convincing. It's only because you want a show. <laughs> of course, Mushu. What do we need? Let me think. All oh, right, we need a nice, strong hand fan. I thought I saw one lying around the training camp back where we met. Go get it for me, and then we could get started. We'll catch up later. Okay. I gotta return to the Mulan realm. Got it. We're only doing this because I want a show, apparently. Those tiny chairs were so adorable. Oh yeah, so Mushu made a pun earlier. That's why he's like, heh heh heh. And then he's like, never mind. Let's just get on with the serious talk. Um, but no, he's like, let's get down to the short business, right? And he's like, heh heh heh. Because everyone is short. Anyways. <laughs> let's just... Go. Is Mushu not hanging out with me anymore? Okay, that's fine, I guess. I guess that's fine. Um, let me go to the Mulan realm. Yeah, he's al he's already at level 10, so he doesn't have to hang out with me if he doesn't want to. Find a hand fan. Okay. Hand fan, hand fan. Find a hand fan. Is it just going to be on the ground somewhere? Hmm. 
Or is it going to be like in a storage box or something? There we go. Hand fan. Return back to Mushu. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Um, Mushu, where are you at? Is he running my way? Oh, he's just up there. Okay. I got the hand fan. You found the fan? Nicely done. Just hold on to it for now. Place... Uh, phase two. Follow me to Scar's hideout. We gotta set a few things up. Okay. Meet Mushu inside Scar's house. He literally said follow me to the house, so... I don't know why they didn't make that the next part. It just says go to Star Scar's house. I don't know. Okay. Here you go. Here's the fan. What are we gonna do? Gonna create fireworks? Alright, Kara, we have the hand fan. We have the location. Now you get Scar and tell him we want to talk to him. Ah. While you do that, I want to set everything up. Okay. I gave the hand fan to Mushu. Now I need to go get Scar. Talk to Scar. Oh, there's Scar. <laughs> He's right there. Alright. Oh, hey, Scar, can we go to your house? Even though we're right here. Um, we can have a nice walk together. Oh, do tell me this is a setup for one of your sad little surprises, Kiar. I suppose I was growing bored of being left completely alone. <sighs> well, let's get this over with. Okay. What is He's just laying down in front of the house. Alright, so let's enter the house. Okay. Scar! Tormentor of the small! You are in the presence of the mighty Mushu! What is this? How can this be? We gotta look at the shadow! I have a message. I... I... I can't do this. <sighs> Listen, this whole thing is just a big show to get you to pay attention. Now that you are, I'm telling you to lay off the smaller villagers. We've formed a society, including Kiara, and we'll stand against you together if you don't stop pushing us around. Hmm. Where I come from, those who travel in packs are often the fiercest something. Very well. I'll leave you and your little friends be. For now. Hello. Are you calling me little too? Because I'm, I'm his friend. It worked. I think it's going to leave the tiny villagers alone now. Sorry I couldn't keep up the show for you. I just had to do things my way, talk to Scar, Dragon to Lion. Hey, your way totally worked. As long as Scar leaves the tiny villagers alone, we're good. You are so right. Let's go tell the tiny villager society the great news. And remember, don't be oh my god, look at this. <laughs> I like how the shadow is still there. In the same exact formation. Even though Mushu is not in that formation anymore. Is that just gonna stay there until... like... 
forever? <laughs> or is it gonna go away? It'll probably go away by the time I finish the quest. At least I would hope so. Alright, let's go. Meet Mushu in his house. Can do. Don't worry. I Excuse me, Mulan. Hello. Okay. Have I got good news for you? When I told Scar we formed a society, he agreed not to something. This is monumental victory for tiny villagers everywhere. Sorry guys, it's just such small text I could barely read it. The big question is, what challenge do we take on next? Well, Buzz and I were talking. We like these tiny chairs as much uh, we th so much that we thought it would be great for more in the valley? Plus maybe some ramps? Small doors, that sort of thing. I like the way you think, Sheriff. Okay, so what? We're gonna make small everything? That was one great meeting, Kiara. I'm a lucky dragon to have a friend like you. Here, I had this made to celebrate our victory against Gar. Come on, let's head outside and celebrate. What is that? Tiny, tiny furniture. Okay. Decorate with the tiny picnic set. Okay. Strange. Strange. Very strange. Okay, so we're gonna have a tiny picnic. I guess this seems like a good place to put it. Tiny picnic set. Oh my god, I can't even see it. There you go. Wow. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me. That is so small. What? Okay. That is so small. <laughs> For a table plus like a beverage on there and plus like a food item on on just a really small table. Oh my god. For real. I can't even see it in the grass. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? That was ridiculously small, Mushu. I'm feeling real good about the future of the tiny villagers' society. We'll make sure to invite any future small villagers into the group, and, like Woody said, we've got some improvement plans in the works, too. Thanks for helping us out. You'll always be welcome as an honorary member. Here, I want you to have this. It means a lot to me, and so do you, our biggest member with the biggest heart. Okay. New outfit. Guardian track jacket. Cool. The tiny villager society is dealt with. And that was Mushu's final quest. Not only that, but I am completely caught up now, right? I have like no other quests. That's crazy. It's hard to believe considering I had so many quests at the start of this update. Um, okay. I guess that is where I'll call it for this episode. We did the last quest. Come back next time, you guys. We will finish the star path for sure. Um, all of these will be complete. And then I could just, like, claim the rewards and stuff that I need. And I think we'll probably also, since, since the star path is just going to be me showing off the items, I think it'll be nice to actually decorate a different section of the valley. Um... So I think we'll work on this area down here. So we have the Moana area. We have the Moana area over here, right? 
um, including Hei Hei's house and stuff. So this is like the Moana section, as I mentioned before. Because all of the items in the section are from Moana. So that's that. If I move this way, past these two poles, this is the entrance to the next section, I guess I will say. Um, so the next section, I want it to be uh, Lilo and Stitch. So I think we're going to go ahead and make it the Lilo and Stitch section. This next section of the beach will be Lilo and Stitch. Um, so I think we'll do that next time. At least get like the basic items laid out. And stuff. So yeah, we're going to finish the star path next episode, you guys. As well as do some more decorating on the beach. So, thank you guys so much for watching. But I hope to see you guys next time for more.